I'm Matt Bouchard with REIT.com here in San Francisco for REIT World 2013. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Denny Oklack, the Chairman and CEO of Duke Realty Corporation. Denny, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Matt. Happy to be here. When we last spoke in June, the, the company's portfolio repositioning was nearing completion. What's the status of that now, and do you think the discipline of that strategy has made Duke a better company? Well, Matt, we're, as I said back in June, we're basically there. Uh, and our targets from about four years ago when we started this repositioning were to be 60% industrial, 25% suburban office, and 15% medical office, which was sort of a, a flip-flop from where we were four years ago. So we're virtually complete, and I think it's really worked very well for us for, for a couple reasons. Uh, one is uh, the suburban office business, while I think is certainly getting better, it's still a fairly difficult area to be in today when you look at the employment situation in the country and, and just overall job growth. Uh, but the good news is, as we've repositioned into industrial and medical office, you know, both those businesses are doing very well. Uh, we're seeing a good, solid uh, occupancy. Our industrial occupancy is now up to about 94.5%. Our medical office uh, occupancy is uh, uh, just about at that level, just uh, under 94%. And we're seeing good solid rent growth in the industrial side and also in both those pieces of our business, a big focus on new development. And both those product types are doing very well right now. So, so we're very pleased with the repositioning and it's worked like we had hoped it would. And picking up on the, the theme of medical office, it's, it's obviously a, a sector that's drawn a lot of investor interest. What are your expectations there for 2014 and how aggressive will Duke be in that area? Well, I think we have very high expectations for the medical office business. Uh, again, about 85% of our business on the medical office side is uh, medical office buildings on the acute care hospital campuses. So attached to the, to the hospital in many cases. And we're really seeing that, uh, that business continue to grow. I think when you look at the drivers of the medical office business today, uh, the Affordable Care Act clearly is gonna drive that, even though obviously off to a little bit of a rocky start here, but we still think that that's gonna drive more people into the healthcare system uh, it's going to drive uh, folks uh, to look for lower cost alternatives and clearly we think a lot of the lower cost alternatives will be uh, operations that are conducted in our medical office business versus say the acute care hospital. So we're very pleased with that. You know as far as being aggressive, um, today uh, most of that business as I said is on hospital campuses but virtually all of it is done with the major hospital systems. So we'll be as aggressive as we can with the growth plans of our major customers who are the major healthcare systems around the country. But we, we see them being fairly aggressive heading into 2014, so I think we'll have a good opportunity to continue to grow that business. And lastly, you had expressed some, some concerns in the past for the industrial sector becoming overbuilt as, as some companies became too aggressive. Do, do you see that still playing out or as, as a real risk right now? Well, I think uh, what we've seen over the last few months since we talked is uh, there is speculative development going on in virtually all the markets today, but we're pleased that it really hasn't uh, gotten out of control like it can sometimes on the industrial side. Uh, we've seen uh, good uh, discipline on the part of builders, both the public companies, uh, our peer groups on the public side, as well as some of the private folks. And we've seen you know, reasonably good absorption in the spec product that's been put up around the country. So right now, we're pretty pleased that uh, things still look, uh, look good and the demand on the industrial side, as I mentioned, is still very strong. So we're in good shape. Denny, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Matt. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. <music>